Monoculture is, is in a way, the only thing you need to understand about the way we grow food industrial in this country. In one sense, monocultures are very simple, and in another sense, they're very complex. They're simple in that they represent a simplification of the landscape. You know, every species eliminated but one. They're complex in the sense that they need such a, a superstructure to hold them up. They need pesticides, they need machinery, they need um, uh, fertilizer, they need uh, pharmaceuticals in the case of uh, animals. Farmers using monoculture need to buy a lot of things. They need to buy pesticides. Pests love monocultures. I mean, it, you know, there's, there's so much food that its population explodes. And um, so monocultures are very vulnerable to disease. The other vulnerability is that they exhaust the, the, the soil. Every plant is taking the same things from the soil and not putting things back. Although it's consistent with the logic of industry, make lots of widgets, same size, from one machine, it contradicts the logic of the natural world. You don't find monocultures in nature. Uh, nature just doesn't work that way. Nature doesn't put all her eggs in one basket. It does have uh, a certain power, and undeniably a power, but whenever you have the, 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 uh, the logic of industry on the one hand and the logic of nature on the other, the logic of nature eventually wins. It's these huge monocultures uh, in American agriculture and world agriculture are making bees' lives very difficult and creating conditions where uh, they're vulnerable to disease um, and exposed to pesticides. So, um, you know, my take on colony collapse is it, it, it is one of the signs, the really unmistakable signs, that our food system is, is unsustainable. Um, it's destroying the conditions upon which it depends. It has internal contradictions that will lead to breakdown. And we've never known where that breakdown will occur, um, but it may well be the loss of the bees. We know the solution. The solution is, is not to uh, expose bees to these vast monocultures.